Hi everyone. I'm back in my garden today and I have a few helpers with me right now. I've got Big Red and Miss Dottie here and they're going to help me make a frittata. I like to call this frittata, it could be known as a breakfast frittata, even a Christmas breakfast, or basically what's in my refrigerator right now and what am I going to make for dinner. It's that easy. So we're just going to get started in just a second here. I'm going to actually start sauteing my onions first. So I'm just going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil to a preheated pan. Oops, i got to open my new oil up. And this is help of at least a few of my chickens today, is our frittata. So I'm going to preheat, I preheated the pan, added my oil, and then I'm going to cut up some onions. So let me get started here. So I just gave them a, I, I cut them in quarters and left the skin on, and then I can just do that and makes it a lot faster. Just cut them up really quickly. We like to have a frittata about once a week, especially when you have leftovers in your refrigerator. You can just kind of find what you need and, and that's dinner or breakfast. Today I'm making it, I know it's a little bit sunny, but I'm making it now because if I don't make this, I have to make another separate lunch. So got our onions here. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic right here. Just gonna saute them for about one minute. And then we're just gonna add the rest of our vegetables in this. Got about 10 eggs here, so we can work on those while we're sauteing this. And the key is when you're making, when you're using a, making a frittata, making a quiche, you don't wanna blend your eggs. When you overbeat it, it's going to become like way too fluffy and not as dense as you're gonna to wanna to have. So I just have my eggs here. I'm gonna add some salt. And then instead of using some, instead of using cashew or uh, heavy whipping cream or half and half, I'm gonna use cashew cream. So all I did was I added some cashews to water, let them and, and put them in boiling water because I ran out of time and just blended them up before you arrived, before I started this video. So, and I'm just gonna add those in here. So this counts as my half and half. It's, cashew cream gives it such a better, uh, richer flavor than, a, than even heavy whipping cream does, in my opinion. So our eggs are ready to go. And now we're gonna add our, our, the rest of our vegetables into our pan. So we can start with maybe some portobello, or not portobello mushrooms, I have some cremini mushrooms here. I'm gonna add to it. Cremini or baby bella mushrooms are basically just portobello mushrooms not quite grown up yet. So these are not given the chance to grow up. I'm just gonna stick those in here. So there's our mushrooms. I have a little bit of leftover uh, cauliflower from the other night's dinner, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cut that up also. That's a nice thing is to not be able to waste your vegetables, and if you have a little bit, you could always give it to your birds. So here's our cauliflower. I've got some broccoli here I'm gonna add also. I'm gonna stick it in the back here. Maybe the rest of my mushrooms. The nice thing is this is chopping it enough up that I'm not gonna to have to cook it before, I cook preheat anything before I cook it. So a lot of times if you have it very large, you're gonna have big chunks in your frittata. So put a little less in here, there we go. I am mortifying my children right now of having my chickens in the garden while I'm making a frittata. But you know what, we've been home way too long and I need to have some fun. Hey Ann, how are you? So I'm gonna also add some zucchini to my frittata here. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? I think I'll make shoestrings with my zucchini. I add zucchini to most anything I make and the reason is because it adds extra fiber, a little bit of extra moisture, so much, very easy. And then I have my spinach. I'm gonna put the spinach on top here, and I'm almost done. Really, really fast frittata. So I have some 
black olives I'm gonna add to one side because there's a few people in this family that don't like them and a few of us that love them so and then lastly I'm going to put my cheese on well actually first before I put my cheese on I want to add our eggs to the top so I'm gonna put the eggs just right on top didn't even stir it up all of the vegetables kind of push it down a little bit get into the crevices and then I'm gonna just put the cheese on top put the lid on and if you have if you don't have this handy dandy still you could do this like in a cast iron pan put it in the oven also after you saute the vegetables and you transfer it right to the oven but this little skillet is kind of like an oven and a saute pan so I'm adding some freshly grated cheese Whenever you can, use freshly grated, not, use, not using your um, prepackaged cheese that has a lot of anti-cooking enzymes. So, so I'm going to put my cheese around here. I've got some Gouda here I found in the fridge and a little extra cheddar. So I'm just going to add that. I'm going to pack it all down. I'm just going to make it pretty. If I had some extra tomatoes, I would add some tomatoes to this too. But I didn't have any today. But like I said, this is kind of what's in my refrigerator for Tata. So, and then here we have it. All I'm gonna do is put the lid on. I'm gonna clean off the sides here so there's not nothing on the side. And I'm gonna put the lid on around 350. And once it starts to, this little valve starts to click, that means it's, it's steaming my vegetables. And I'm gonna turn it down to 200 and then I'm just gonna let it cook for about 25 more minutes. And I could let it cook for maybe even an hour later if I wanted to, just because I can walk away and just forget about it because it's at 200, so it's not gonna overcook it, it's not gonna undercook it. So if I wanna make this before I have people over and I have two hours and I wanna make it before they arrive and I don't wanna think about it again, I can put it in, let this valve click at 350, and then once it does, set the temperature to 200 and it's done. So uh, thank you for joining us, Miss Hattie and Ms. and Dottie with me, or I'm sorry, it's a, uh, Big Red and Dottie here with me today. And uh, until next time, keep calm and carry it on. Bye-bye.